Hi, this is Krista at the, the Secret Urinary. Welcome to our Crochet Podcast, episode 57. Is it? It's 57. Welcome back to all my returning subscribers and friends. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new and popping by for the first time, my name is Krista and this is A Secret Yarnery. This channel is all about crochet and crochet related goodness. I do tutorials, podcasts, a live chat on Fridays, and some other bits and yarny related goodness in between. So if that is of interest to you, consider hitting the subscribe button below and the notification bell beside that so you don't miss out on any of the fun. So, do I have finished objects? No, still, no. I have been working on the Northern Diamond Square Cal. So this tutorial just came out on Monday, and it is super great. I am using Cotton Bamboo Light from Ice Yarns. There is a link for it in the description box below if you want to use the same yarn that I am. However, let me show you. I showed you in the tutorial also, but I just want to kind of find them for a start. <laughs> Is that all of them? I think so. If you are not using the same yarn as I am, you can also do it in a Lara. This is 50% acrylic and 50% uh, cotton. It has a really nice stretch to it and it's a bit spongy. It's quite lovely and of course I love the colors. Uh, you can also do, which one? I did this one in Favorite. So soft and buttery. It's a bit of fuzz, it's a bit of softness, it's really, it's like tender. It feels great. It's also a size four worsted weight and a six millimeter hook, so it's not like a skinny yarn. It's totally wonderful. And I really like how that one turned out. Working on the colors. I did this one in, um, favorite and also this orange on the edge is Saver 100. I wasn't sure the difference in the two yarns, which I'll get into a review at another time, but just to sum it up, Saver 100 is a bit thicker. It has a bit more body to it and Favorite is a bit fuzzier and a bit softer. They're both size four, but oh, I can show you. If you can see the difference, of focus in the yarn weights the peachy colored one is feels a bit thicker than the green one it like if you pinch it that's kind of goes a bit flat and this kind of keeps a bit more springy body to it so i think i hummed and hot for days i think i'm a saver 100 girl i really like the the body that it has and it's still really soft but it has a bit more bulk i suppose so I'm really, I'm, a, I'm officially a Saver 100 girl. Like I'm ordering more. Yes, I am. Actually, no, I'm going to order your, more. I do not have any in my cart, but I want to. Mm. So many yarns, so little time. So I really love those ones. So those are just different yarns. And I also made one out of a variegated. This is pastel cotton. So I did pastel cotton for every, for the, the granny square part and then the rows of single crochet with the drop downs in the hot pink favorite. Make sure it's favorite, yeah. So I like how that one turned out as well. So if you have a variegated yarn, you can use um, your variegated and then for the overlay, just pick a color that is not in your square or will show up no matter what. Because I think that also looks quite pretty. What do you think? You like it? So this is pastel cotton. So it's 50% cotton, 50% acrylic, variegated with an acrylic overlay. I really like it. So those are, that is what I worked on. And I am still working on my nor Northern Diamond Cal. Right now I'm doing all of my, um, I'm doing six balls of the Cotton Bamboo Light into squares, and then I will know exactly how many squares I have. I'm trying to get at least 80, and I'm getting 13 and a half squares per ball of yarn, so it should be about right, and then whatever, I, I want to leave like one and a half to two balls left over for the border of the blanket. So I'll see how close I get to doing that. What else am I working on? 
Oh, next cow. That's our cow this month. Our, our cow next month is going to be this never-ending flower shawl because it just feels like it's never ending. And I'll show you why. See how it's like, it just like no matter what, like I thought it was, I, thought I did this one because I thought it needed this one. And now it looks like I need one here, I need one here, I'll need one down here. It's just like I'm always needing flowers. So I think I'm gonna try to remove this blue one and just have it like that, like a little capelet. Just for summer just or spring, just to go over your um, sundresses or even as, a, not even doing as a garment, just doing it as a bed runner. So if you wanted to do this with me also, I made this one in the natural cotton. So I'll link that below. You pick any colors. You can pick five colors, put them in your cart, see how much it is to get to you. I have washed this last week and it did not bleed at all, which I heard is a bit of a problem with other brands. So that is good to know. You could also do it with the acrylic, uh, with the Alera. Which one is that? I can show you. In this yarn here, it's thinner. It's more thin. It's a three for thickness, so it would be a bit more delicate, can't even see it, a bit more delicate um, yarn to use. But it would also be beautiful. So just a little something to do for spring, something to start shopping for if you have an itch. You can also use whatever yarn you have at home, it is not a big deal. All right, what else did I wanna show you? Oh, we can move on, so that's it. I have no finished objects and that is my only whip. But I did have, some acquisitions. I did. I won't go into all of it other than this. <sighs> Do you want to hear it? It'll talk to you. See? <sighs> what does it want you to make? <sighs> so this is polar eyelash. They call it a five bulky, but I use anywhere from, like I just use it with whatever other yarn I am working with. I've, made, I've added it to borders and I've made entire garments from it. We are going to be doing a shoulder shrug with this yarn. We're gonna be using Polar Soft. It's the same as this, but in different colors. It is wonderful. And you will need one pack, eight balls for a average size shoulder shrug. Just about everybody has managed to do it with eight balls. If you are particularly large or you want to make a more than uh, one garment, you want to keep some for making borders or edges, then definitely get two packs. It's delicious. This used to be on sale for 37 cents, but it sold out. So now you're moving on to the Polar Soft. But you have lots of colors to pick from, so go for it. Highly recommend. Delicious. Yeah, really delicious. Other acquisitions, although I'm not gonna be working on this yet, I just wanted to have it because I know what I wanted to do. I haven't picked the exact pattern, but I wanted the supplies. So now I have the supplies. I ordered more Alera. This is a bit bright, isn't it? Dim it. Down. Okay, there, better. Alera, which is 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. It's a three weight, super great balls of yarn. I wanted to get this really light mint color. You can probably see it better if I leave it in the, in the box. So I wanted to get those colors. I want to make granny squares of some design, not sure. In my head, it's kind of like daisy granny squares, but I don't really want daisy granny squares. I want them in this, these colors. This is my grandma's rocking chair, my grandpa's rocking chair, recovered by my grandma, and now my rocking chair. I want to make um, like a crochet slip cover for it that is removable so I can wash it because the kids sit on this chair all the time and slobber. It's also the chair I sit in when my kids are sick. Like this chair gets a lot of use and I just want to keep my grandma's fabric. It's not the greatest fabric, it's sentimental. So I want to kind of use her colors or the colors that she picked for this to make some sort of granny square cover that you would maybe at buttons on the side or down below and some armrest covers. Like just make it really, really cute and usable so I'm not panicking when my kids come and, you know, slobber and be sick on it because it is old, older than the hills. 
I used to sit on this chair uh, with my grandpa, and he passed away when I was six. This is like best memory chair. So, want to recover in those? Not sure the exact <sighs> design. If you have an idea, let me know. I want to do granny squares for sure because it'll be easier to match the pattern of the chair. You know, you can kind of like just kind of keep adding them on to match the shape of the chair. So I definitely want to do granny squares. I'm just not sure of the, like what granny squares I want to do. And I do want to do something more than just solid because that's a bit boring. Anyway, that's as far as I've gotten. I have, I just got this really nice light mint today because I thought it kind of goes with all that. I'm into it. But no rush, no rush at all. That'll be like a one year project. No rush. So is that it for crochet news? I think so. I think that's about it. Do, 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 do. Yes. So question of the day, what granny squares would you make to cover your grandmother's rocking chair? <laughs> if you have like a favorite pattern or like a style of granny square, I'd love to hear your ideas about that. Leave it in the comments box below. Also, if you haven't introduced yourself yet, introduce yourself down below. We'd love to get to know you. And that is how you, we do get to know you, is by putting a little comment down below. It doesn't have to be anything super personal or special, although I love it if it is, but you can just say hello and join the community. I know the first time you make a comment, it feels awful. I am still nervous making comments on other people's channels, like they're gonna think I'm weird, or like, it's very self-conscious. So don't think that that goes unnoticed by me. I know it's super uncomfortable and I really appreciate all of you who have put yourself out there and that will put yourself out there to comment down below. So thank you for that and I'd love to get to know you. So that's it, I suppose. If you have any questions for me, leave it in the comments box below. And a question that was asked last week, I would like to answer now which is why, what do I love so much about Kenya? Like why has a Canadian moved herself to Kenya and is like super happy here? So I've tried to think of my top 10 things, but really I didn't count them. And there's not 10, so it'll, it won't be so long, nor are they in any particular order. First of all, um, I should just say for those of you who are new, because there is a lot of new subscribers, uh, I traveled to Kenya in 2000, where my sister was living here. She was traveling in Japan, met a guy from Kenya, came to Kenya, loved Kenya, moved to Kenya. Yes, it happened. Uh, I came to visit her when she was having her first uh, baby, and I loved Kenya. I went back to Canada, worked hard, put my stuff in storage, came back the next year, met my husband, got married a few months later, and now we have four kids, and I've been here ever since. So I love Kenya. What I loved about it first was the weather. I love the weather. Uh, it's basically sunny. It's about 25 degrees Celsius all the time. Like not at night, it goes down to maybe 15. But during the day, it's about 25 degrees. If it gets up to like 28, it's too hot. If it gets to 23, it's too cold. We just have a very narrow window of perfect temperature, which we usually have. It rains about four days a year. Uh, it's wonderful. It's perfect. And it rains at night sometimes too. So like it rains, but it's very green. It's very lush. It's very tropical. There's no humidity in Nairobi. So it's not one of those hot sticky things. It's perfectly dry. Uh, it's great. It's perfect. When I did know I wanted to move to Kenya was when I got on a 45 minute commuter flight to the coast and saw this beach. Who would not be living here? I'm like, oh my gosh, it's 45 minutes away. It's like a $60 plane ticket to get there. What? I, I will live here. This is beautiful. I love it. On top of that, you can go on safari, like real safari. There's no zoo action. Uh, it's literally, you're the little human being in the animal's kingdom. It is crazy insane. It is, like I actually cried. My first safari, I literally cried. And I took a lot of pictures of guinea fowl, which are purple chickens. And I thought they were like exotic animals. <laughs> anyway, I love those. Those are my, that's when I decided I was going to move here. What I do love about living here is it's a great place to raise your children. It's very family orientated and you can keep your children young. There's no commercials on TV, or at least the TV that I watch. There's no commercials on TV. Oh, helicopter. Can you hear the helicopter? 
can't see it. I would, I'd guess American, but maybe not. Um, you can keep them younger, longer, which I really love. There's, you can, they can play outside every day of the year. I let them play in the rain. People here think it's crazy. They think, oh my gosh, you're gonna, like you're playing in the rain, you're gonna get sick. No, you're not gonna get sick. It's rain, it's fine, just dry off after. It's just like literally, it's paradise for raising children. Next great thing about it, there's no cat calling, which I didn't even notice for, till I was here for about six months. And I was like, what's wrong? You know, you get dressed up, you wanna go shopping, you try to look cute and nobody notices. And you don't realize how much you're used to that weird degrading male behavior until you don't have it i was like oh my gosh like what happened people call you mom um, good thank you i was like 28 or 30 and i was like oh my gosh why are people calling me mom like do i look old no oh i wasn't no i was about 30 31. uh no it's just respect it's a culture of respect like and not based on skin color just based on human nature like humans being nice to each other. No cat calling, no yodeling. You can walk by a construction. Nobody's going to be yelling at you. There's no yelling at females, which I love. And it's a place I would like to raise my children without objectifying females. So that is a beautiful thing. I cherish it a lot. It's a very modest culture also. There's no mini skirts. There's no little, little half tops, crop tops. No, mm -mm 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 -mm. people that work at night wear those sorts of things, which I also really appreciate. There is some people who do in like the international schools and things like that. There was a big hubbub a few years ago for the high school students and the principal of the high school would stand at the car parking lot and the like where the students would enter the school and hand, hand out like kangas, which is like, um, really nice African fabric wraps to wrap up the girls who came to school dressed scantily. Thank you, I appreciate that. That's how it should be. Do not objectify females, thank you, I like it a lot. And that is just part of the modest culture. Probably ranted too much, apologize. What else is great here, the food. Okay, so uh, avocados, mangoes, small bananas, papaya, like all the delicious tropical fruits, cheap as chips, delicious and generally organic by nature. Uh, it is wonderful. It's cheap and literally delicious. Like you eat so many mangoes and so many avocados, it's like boring. They're like 20 cents each and that's expensive. Like you can get them cheaper for like 10 cents, 8 cents. I pay 20, I, like from a store, I'm fine with it. They're delicious. So produce here is great. Roses, flowers, also great. 20 roses for $2, great price. You can have roses all the time. I should have roses all the time, but you get a little, you know, it's not always on your list. You'd be like, oh, I need to go get flowers. I did for the first couple years, but then you kind of get over it. But a very good perk of living here. Cheap, 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 cheap roses. Other flowers more expensive. Roses are like the cheap thing. Roses are the cheapest. Right? Yeah. Kenya, by the way, largest exporter of roses in the world. Mental, like little note to self, little fact for you there. Another thing that's great here, tea and coffee. Literally, tea is tea, coffee is coffee. It's all grown here. It is organic by nature. It is wonderful. Hand-picked, just delicious, great coffee, great tea, great produce, respectful culture, great weather, great place to raise your kids. It's wonderful. So that is what I like about Kenya. Sorry if that was a really long rant. So that's it for me today. The little clip after this is me taking my two boys, my young ones, to, well, across town on a Sunday morning to see a dog show, the East Africa Kennel Club dog show. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you're not into out and about in Kenya, no problem at all. <laughs> I'll see you next week for the regular crochet stuff, a live chat on Friday, and have a super great week. Stay hooked. Where, where are we going, kids? Puppies. Puppies. Puppy. 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 Oh, yeah.
God, I brought two phones today because I'm so classy like that. There's no oh, elephants there. I don't think so, honey. We're in Nairobi. Huh? Nairobi? Nairobi. That's far. No, you, that's where you live. I live in Nairobi. Yeah, don't mean to break it to baby. you. Also Nairobi. Lucas lives in, also lives in Nairobi. Yeah, just Wilson, about everybody you know. 400 meters, turn right. Okay, we'll try Google Maps. Yeah, this is the way we're supposed to go. Then it just gets a bit confusing for me. Whoa. Okay, let me handle the confusion. Turn right. Yeah, I'll turn right, chicky poo -poos. Traffic is like zero today. That is so nice. Planes want to see you too. Meters merge onto Embu, Nairobi Highway, Meirua, Nairobi Highway. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah, this is the way to come to meters. Take the A102 ramp on the right to Naivasha, Eldoran. Oh, okay, I think I know what she means. I was be confused. Lion, lion. Oh, see, that's why I was in this lane. Genius. So slick. I got slick moves. Then I think I need to get in the other lane. If I'm thinking properly. is really in getting better. Meters, merge onto Cairo Mo Road, Waiyaki Way. Okay, you, her pronunciation is way off, but we'll cut her some slack. Oh, I think this worked. I just nailed a bypass. Yeah, baby. Soccer ball, what did you see? Robin's head fell off. Hat. His hand. Oh, well, that's also no good. Continue for four kilometers. Okay, now we're golden. Yeah, 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 baby. Yeah, yeah, What did you see? Pizza, burger and burrito. Burger and burrito. Burgers and chips. Burgers and chips. So delicious. We just had breakfast. It's 8.52 a.m. Why are you guys panting for burgers and chips? This must be church or something. Why, yes it is. So this is Westlands area. A T-Rex park, awesome. There is not a T-Rex park. Oh gosh, it's gonna be a long drive. This used to be a terrible roundabout, but now it's not a roundabout anymore. So now it's not so bad. Because nobody can get through anymore. It used to go that way. They blocked it. 
There's no, I did not say there's a velociraptor on the road. Holy moly, you guys have some good imagination going on. Okay, everybody, no crossing the road. Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. No, you're not taking either flip flops. You do not need to take them off. Your comfort level is at maximum. I and you, Kenya, super specialists, eye hospital, laser center. I did not go there. I went to Eagle Eye. They have a German doctor that pops in once a month and does all sorts of fabulous surgeries. Worked like a treat. I mean, it was pretty gross, but worked like a treat. You can come, little car. Well, this is the best time to go to the other side. You can call Litza. Say, Litza, we're on your side. And a coach. I don't know what that is. Super Metro. Look at that Whoa. fly bus. Who likes this bus? Holy. That was fancy. That was a fancy one, cats. Safaricom, where my friends were. Hi, Safaricom. Uh, no, we're, no, Safaricom, not Safari. My little wishful thinker. Right now? Yeah. Well, it's not too late. But yes, please do it. Now? No, not now, when we get out of the car. Make sure you're comfortable. You need gravity on your side. Yeah, that's my life. All right. 500 meters, turn left onto James Key Choru Road. Game James Gachuru Road. Let me just correct her as we go along. It's pretty bad if I'm correcting someone's pronunciation. Let me just say that. <laughs> Mine is horrible by nature. This ABC, one of the original shopping complexes, or since I was here. James Road. Wow, someone banged that one last night. James Gachuru. She just can't pronunciate it. Continue on James Key Choru Road for two kilometers. This, because we have to get to the end. We have to go past Junction. Who wants to go past Junction? When have I taken you guys to Junction? Not for ages. I think Ollie went once, I guess three years ago. Wow, did you go around a corner? I'm so sorry. So sorry to you, little man. Oh, that's a pretty dress. I like it. Be good with crochet. Everything would be good with crochet, actually. Okay, I won't sing. Who wants to sing the Wiggles? Who remembers the Wiggles? What? Oh, you guys know the Team Titan songs. Yeah. Now you're into Team Titans. Oh, That's how it goes. Oh no, he's bleeding on that guy. He's bleeding? Yeah. How do you know? On his lip. Oh, that's called lipstick. Yeah. That's an identity crisis. Okay. Oh, sing that's so Oh, it's his hair? Okay, yeah. sing the song. I'm waiting. In 500 meters, at the roundabout, continue straight to stay on James Key Choru Road. It's raining. Uh-oh, it's raining. You're right. Oh, no. Now, we, now we're not going to... Okay, we better go home. <laughs> okay, we'll go see the puppies. Dude, I'm taking you. We have 33 minutes to get there. Yes. Yeah, great. 
Ja. How many lions did you want? 100. 100 lions. How are you going to feed 100 lions? I did not see Paw Patrol. I see KFC drive through What? There's a drive through Dude, there's a drive through At KFC. You see Colonel Sanders? There we go. There's the money. There's the money. No, I'm talking about KFC, not Aquaman. Oh, look, there's even a bucket. That's old school. Old school. Love it. No. We're not invited. You gotta be invited to parties. Right? Or make your own party. No, I don't wanna be in a party. Your life is a party, dude. Your life is a party. Um would you like a party? Yes. What are you gonna do at a party? So you want to have hot dogs? What else? And three bouncy castles. And three bouncy, slide, three and bouncy castles. And two walk slides. And a girl. And you want to have girls at your party? You're gonna have a girl party? Yep. <laughs> Why do? You, what's what's what, what's the big deal about kissing girls? I love girls. I know. Where have you seen it? I'm confused. Do they kiss in Team Titans? They do kissing in Team Titans? Yeah, Beast Boy. Beast Boy does kissing? Yeah. Oh, gee whiz. Oh, gee whiz. Uh, Mom, how many suck in the cup? Don't suck the cup. He's not letting me. This he's is my eye he's hospital, so Eagle Eye. Laser Center. Still in, in, in his mouth. Uh, okay, well, no, I'm driving. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember what happens when Mommy's driving? Eyes on the road, isn't it? Yes. Uh, it's a dog at Deborah's house, not a puppy. Well, there was a puppy in Deborah's house, but the, they died. No, they didn't die. They got adopted. Oh, we're going past Sushi Soup. Plane? There. Okay, well, you, you'd know. I can't, I can't match your skills, your mad props. Oh, this guy's turning. That goes against my plan, dude. That goes against my plan. Do, 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 do. That intersection really should have lights or a roundabout. It is just pretty much a free for all. Always has been, somehow, always will be. Okay, now we're close to Litz's house. Litzy and Sushi Sue. Mom, Litz is my friend. I know she is. Wait, Litz is like, wait, was Litz my cousin? Nope. Who was my cousin? Uh, Sunali. Amil, Sunali. Huh? Amil. Amil. Sunali. 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 Uh, Madeline, Eli. Avro. Yeah, you have a lot of cousins. They none of them live nearby. You have them on all continents. Five hundred meters, slight right toward the Gong Road. I got you. I got you. So there's Junction Shopping Center coming up on the left. It used to be terribly modern. Now. It's kind of weird. Why did we used to go there? There was a game store, like gaming. Well, they, they were the first ones to get Steel Series. So we used to come out here just to get gear. And that's it, I think. Oh, and they have the first KFC. Pardon me. 
Yes, tomorrow is school. School tomorrow, yeah, then your whole hand. Remember, school, 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 school. Slight right toward Nagong Road, then slight left onto Nagong Road. Got it. Right. Right. We have to sit in this traffic, but I don't know. Yes, we found some fine Thank you. Thanks for the tip. Yes, slight left on Gong Road. Oh, look, they're doing something. Construction. I like it. Look, diggers, kids. Oh, wow. Let me know. That's cool. That is coolness. All right, sitting. We're going to see puppies. Continue on the Gong Road for 800 meters. Mom, can I open my window? No. Mm -mm. Thank you. Appreciate it. Nice thinking. I say no. What are they doing? They're making the road wider. Won't that be a smart move? Cause this road's always busy now. Oh, we're digging up a stump pretty good over there. It looks like a Brachiosaurus. Of course it does. Brachiosaurus, Stegosaurus, Spinosaurus, Velociraptor, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Did you see it? I didn't saw it. I did not see it. That's what you're supposed to say. I did not see it. Made it past the jam. Jam? Jam. Pump up the jam. I don't know what this guy's up to. Hanging, busted. Busted, it's empty, empty car. Pork and meat supply. Okay, well, that's interesting. Oh, it's a mini bar and a liquor store and Carpet World and Triple M Boutique. Okay. Oh, and Farm Fresh Pork over there. Where? That place over there. Farm Fresh Pork. I like pork. Oh, you just saw it. <laughs> Love meat. I know you love meat. That's what I was pointing out. A lovely. I'm a vegetarian. You're a vegetarian? Yes. But you like sausage. I don't like sausage. You don't like sausage? Yes. What about hot dog? You don't like hot dog? I forgot to eat a hot dog for lunch. Good thing it's only 9.08 in the morning. Beep. Beep, beep. Beep, beep. Oh, and a funeral shop. Lona Funeral Services. You never know. Probably maybe it's after eating at the butchery. Possible. Oh, Menda bath, bath specialists. Interesting. I dig it. Oh, the playing soccer ball. Football. In the park? Yeah. There's kids in the park? Yeah. Oh, they're really making this road nice whenever they do it. That'll be great. Are there kids over there playing? Oh, we'll just look at, we'll browse shops. Oh, a dog eating garbage. Perfect. Oh. Two dogs eating garbage. There you go. You guys, I took you to see puppies. We're finished now. Now we can go home. How many puppies do you want to see? That was two. One hundred puppies. Oh, here's another butchery, Joe Jen Butchery and Meat Supplier. Is there a bar in that one too? Joe Jen Butchery, there must be a bar. They sell Coca Cola. Oh, and another dog. Here, look, there's another dog on the road. 
Look at this one. Another mummy dog. Yeah. What do you mean, yuck? Oh, and Sir Bobby. Oh, that's a workshop. I thought I said Sir Bobby Butchery. I was like, that's a problem. <laughs> oh, there's the tankard. That's a bar. And butchery. Meat and beer. The tankard. Come on out. I'll let two of you in because I just feel nice like that. Mandazi. I did not see Mandazi. Anybody else see Mandazi? Where? There. Where are you looking? There. Mandazi. Yes. How do you know it's Mandazi? Because it's a rectangle. Oh, you're just looking for shapes. I thought we were looking for Kenyan donuts. I was like, oh yeah, we are. Okay, we're still on this road. We're turning off soon, but we're not there yet. There is a lot of puppies. See, I only take you to the best parts of town. Isn't it? Holy, and look at all the wood. Millennium business. Oh, look at that, the grader. It makes the road flat. We're turning where all those other cars are turning. To the left. Giraffe. Oh, wow. 200 meters. Turn See, I, left. I did take you on safari. I'm such a nice mother. Okay, I'm following all Is those cars. Walking? No, we're not going because because the rest of the family didn't come with us. We can't go by ourselves. That'll be boring, right? Take the next left. Pardon me? No, tomorrow school. Here we go. Puppy show. Pup Everybody's going puppy show. Look, all these people that cut me off would be parking beside. Would be like, hi, thanks for cutting me off. So polite of you. Continue for 800 meters. Good. It's nice. Bam. You did a bam. You did a starburst. Good. I know, you're a very nice boy. Always good to be friendly. Oh, looky, uh, Amuka, Amuka. Oh, like tents? It's probably church. These people look like they're going to church. Yeah, see, Nairobi, Nairobi Chapel. Okay, so these people are going to church. I am going to the puppy show. Dog show. Dog show. I don't know. Then we can't see the puppies. Puppies are in 17 minutes. So. Nope, they're not waiting for us at all. We have to get there. I know the only Sunday. So this is just confused. How many churches are on this road? Sunday car bazaar. Oh, so these are cars for sale? I don't even know this. This is very interesting to me. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff going on on this road. Straight up. Uh, in 200 meters, your destination will be on the left. On the left, okay. Oh, but yeah, security. Okay, I have been here before. Now, what is this? Horses! 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 Yeah, yeah, you got horses. Ride, 
I really want to ride one. I really, really, really want to ride one. Why? Look how many there are. Okay, here we are. East Africa Kennel Club. This is where we wanted to go. Your destination is on the left. Okay, well, it doesn't look like my destination's on the left. Let's t let's see this guy here. Oh, e is this us? I think so. Okay, let me do security. I'll be back. Oh we, no! Where did where did we reach, you guys? Puppy show! Puppy show! We made it. Now we will go around. Mom? I don't know. Oh, there's a dog. Look, you see it? Oop. You, you, <laughs> you can see a dog. <laughs> dogs, no, they will not eat you. These are nice dogs. Okay, bye. Come. This way. I really want to touch a horse. Well, I guess we found where the horses are. Yeah, my god, oh, I hear. I hear something. Who hears something? I hear something. I can, I'm, I'm not going to hear a dog from here. How do we even get down there? I'm very confused. Oh Maybe we go this way. Uh, what do you smell that's I good? Hot dogs. Hot dogs? Maybe. Okay, I do not know how we're supposed to get in there. Oh, our dressage guy's here. There's a good guy here? Our dog's a guy. This yes, it is. Look. You look behind. You'll see everybody. Oh, no. Oh, they have tons of things. Oh, that's so cool. There's a lot of here. See? See? Now, no screaming. No squealing. Okay? Can I touch one? Yeah, like that. You can't do that. Can exactly I what one? I was meaning. No? Because they're not yours. You look with your eyes. Where? There. Oh, is that ours? That's a pug. That's a cute one. How are you, bummy? Fine. Imagine I only had two hours of food. That's a baby. So it's golden retrievers, it looks like. Oh, he's Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. I out there is dog paper. Oh, it's not very clean, but it's yeah. <laughs> So I was just kind of, it was a messy, scared dog. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> he was not a very happy dog. Oh, these are cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come on, guys. Yeah, pugs are lovely. Oh, they're behind. Look how many there are. Hi, guys. How are you? Oh, look, they're all waiting in here. Oh my gosh. Can you see the little tiny ones? They're so cute. And the big one. And the big one, yeah. Should we go say hi? Oh, they're so cute. Are any of them having puppies soon or no? Hi, honey pod. Hi, honey pod. Oh, they're so nice. You want to give them a little touch? They're very soft. I know them. Oh, yeah, they're awesome. very soft. Oh, she's so sweet. Well, can I go touch the big one? No, you can only touch if you're invited. You have to be invited. Oh, look at the cute little tail in there. Oh, you guys are so cute. Hi, sweetie. I can see you back there. I like the black one. I can see you back there. Do you like the black one? Yeah, I like the black one. Oh. I like the beigey ones too. 
the fawny one. So cute. He's putting his tongue out. Hey, he wants to smell you. He says you smell like nice dogs too. Hi, honey. Oh, she's pretty. Oh, she's pretty girl. Oh, she's like, pretty girl. Yeah, I'm money so I can so I can go to the party. <laughs> we can't buy these ones, honey. We have to wait for them to have a puppy. These are pugs. How cute are they? Oh, so cute. Look, this is the tiny one. So that cute. Is big, oh my gosh, that one's huge. <laughs> You're trying to get kisses. Yeah. I know you Mom, are. The oh, they're so like nice. Me. Yeah, they're so sweet, right? Oh, I mean, let me touch the big one. So nice. Oh, he wants cuddles. This one wants cuddles. Hi, honey. Oh, don't. You cannot bite my sweater. Thank you, though. Come on, can I then what about this one, one down? This can one I down? Touch that one? No, because that's not yours. You have to be invited to touch dogs. Hi, honey. Oh, this one's so cute. This one is so cute. This one's adorable. This one's adorable. You're just going to be so happy. Should we take a picture for dad? Yeah. Let's take a picture for dad. Because they're just starting, that's why, look. So pretty. Careful, careful. She wants to go with mommy, she's like, not with this one. Uh, the result of 104, junior mixed, first 221, with CC being awarded, and second 318, with a reserve CC being awarded. Let's go shopping. Okay, so this was the dog show. Do, do, do. We have been here like 40 minutes. I think they've shown three dogs. It's quite slow. Bye, pugs. Bye, pugs. Boys, come this side. Oops. If I unlock it, it helps. Boys, this side, please. In. Buckle. In. Buckle. When we maybe we get like maybe we should get a bulldog. Bulldogs. Okay, who's gonna look for Farasi? Farasi. There they are. Yeah, we did. Wasn't it fun? And I took boys. Oh, this ice cream truck. Ice cream truck, right here. Ooh, ice cream truck. Oh, I'm getting passed by a bike. I'm so slow. I can start. Yeah, you can start. Welcome to the secret yeah. me. Now we're gonna talk about yarn. We're gonna make a popcorn box. We just need a yarn, we just cut the yarn, then we made it to a popcorn box. And then, then we're going to make a zombie fireworks. Then we just then do that, then put the zombie's head. Then we're going to make pink. A zombie popcorn. Then we're going to make fish. Yarn fish. Yeah. No. No, we're going to talk about yarn. Yeah, um, we can make, make a fish. And um, let's cut it. Did you guys forget to introduce yourselves? Yeah. You're supposed to say what? Um, Welcome to the Secret Yarn Me. Um, today we're going to talk about your yarn. And what's your name? Um, my name is uh, Tanea. <laughs> no, my name is Mom. Your name's Mom. And my name is, and my name is Anthony. Anthony. Anthony and Mom. So. We're gonna, we're gonna make, make a beach. We're gonna we just cut the beach. The sharks and the water. A beach. And, and we're gonna do surfing. 
surfing. And surfing. And we're going we're gonna to do surfing with the tiger. Then Anthony say the end. The and, end. And, and the end. And thanks for watching. Thank, thank, thank you for watching, watching my and video. Thanks for watching my video. And thank, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. And we also say stay. Stay. Stay close. Stay close. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So you guys don't watch the end of my videos too much. That was fun. That was great fun. Okay. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you next time. So